phrase um, the question of disappointment in that way. Um, in a sense, disappointment was inevitable, uh, particularly given the way in which the campaign was conducted four years ago. Uh, many people, not only in the US, but all over the world projected their hope and their aspirations uh, um, on this single individual. And of course, it was um, a historic moment when a black man was elected to the presidency of the United States for the very first time. Um, however, he was elected to the presidency of the United States of America, and his election did not change the character of, uh, of the U.S. Uh, the U.S. is an imperialist country. Um, it was deeply involved in um, a military aggression at, the, at that time. Um, and so in a sense, Obama was bound to disappoint. However, um, uh, certainly there are steps that he might have taken that he did not take. Uh, we expected, for example, Guantanamo to be shut down immediately, and it has not shut down yet. <laughs> uh, we certainly did not uh, assume that after uh, his expression of opposition against the war in Iraq, he would create a war in Afghanistan. Uh, so I can go on and talk about those uh, issues around which many people were disappointed. Health care, for example. Um, and this especially affected um, poor black communities, but also um, uh, the country in general. Um, however, I would suggest that even considering these disappointments, the election was a historic one. And his victory occurred only because there were vast numbers of people, primarily young people, who refused to believe that it was impossible to elect such a person to the presidency. Um, our mistake, I think, was that after we elected Obama, we did not keep up the pressure. Now, had there been a massive mobilization in, um, on Inauguration Day, or the day after, putting pressure on Obama to uh, bring the troops home, to close down o uh, uh, Guantanamo, to create a better health care system, I think he would have been in a better position to actually accomplish uh, more than he's been able to accomplish over the last four years. But I think that um, most people who voted for Obama certainly don't want Mitt Romney as the next president. So the challenge is to create the kind of enthusiasm this time around that will not be focused primarily on one individual, Obama the candidate, but the kind of enthusiasm that will help to uh, uh, build and um, continue to develop a movement that uh, will push for the rights of working people, will push for um, an end to mass incarceration, which especially affects uh, people of African descent in the U.S., et cetera, et cetera. 